Hello everyone. A very good morning. Today let's discuss on our very important another short notes that is your adoption. This is a very important short note for your university exam question. So this adoption uh, today we have received our IJBP 2024 volume one new article. I mean a new journal in which we have this article on adoption. Plus uh, you can also find this adoption topic in our uh, uh, DNB one of our DNB website also. Okay fine. So I have taken this full uh, of this topic or I have concise this topic from the points that is given in our IJBP textbook. Yes. Yes. Starting off with the definition of your adoption. So what is adoption? So adoption is a social, emotional, and legal process. So this adoption is a social, emotional, and a legal process by which the rights and responsibility, the rights and responsibilities. this rights and responsibilities are transferred from the biological parents to the legal parent these are transferred from a biological parent to their legal parent or parents so this is the definition of your adoption fine it is a social emotional and a legal process so by which the rights and responsibilities of a child is being transferred from the legal parents to, uh, sorry biological parents to the legal parents who all can adopt a child so the parent who are adopting the child are called as prospective adoptive parents so prospect adoptive parents pap okay so this prospective adoptive parents they should be uh, physically mentally and emotionally stable and a financially capable one okay so then must not have any life threatening medical conditions also this prospective adoptive parents that is that a parent who is adopting a child should be uh, physically mentally emotionally and financially stable without having any life threatening medical conditions that is one point second one is the minimum age difference so this is minimum age difference between the child and your pap that is your prospective adoptive parent it should not be less than 25 years so it should not be less than 25 years that minimum age difference right supposing if the parent is married so if the parent is married they should have at least a stable marriage uh, relationship for about 2 years so they should have at least 2 years so they should have at least 2 years of stable marital relationship fine second both the parents that is both the spouses must consent for the adoption so both the spouses must give a consent for the adoption next the composite age that is adding the age of the male and the female of a married couple should not exit 110 years so the composite age of married couple it should not exit 110 years okay so these are the important points you have to remember regarding the adoption question in which who all can adopt suppose the prospective adoptive parent is a single parent the minimum age difference should be between the child and the parent should be at least more than 25 years if suppose the couple if they are married couple they should have at least 2 years of stable marital relationship plus they both the spouses should give a consent for adoption and the uh, composite age of this married couple should not exceed 110 years so these are the points you have to remember regarding who can adopt next who can be adopted so we are now talking about the child who can be adopted so a child can be adopted if he or she so a child can be adopted 
if he or she is an orphan or abandoned who are being declared legally free for adoption by a child welfare committee so who has been an orphan or an abandoned child who has been declared legally free so who has been declared legally free for adoption by the child welfare committee who has been declared free for adoption by your child welfare committee this is another one committee okay as per your juvenile justice care and protection of children act 2015 okay so as per the juvenile justice care and protection act Twenty fifteen. Okay, so they should be declared free for adoption by your child welfare committee. Second, a child of a relative can be also adopted. Second point, a child of a relative. That is, a relative means child's paternal uncle or aunt or maternal uncle or aunt or paternal and maternal grandparents can also adopt the child. Third. is a child or a children of a spouse from a early marriage that has been surrendered by their biological parent for adoption by their step parent okay so a child of spouse from the earlier marriage has been surrendered by their biological parent for adopt by the step parent this child can also be adopted fine so these are the points regarding the child who can be adopted next what is the process of adoption in our country in country process of adoption in country like india is so your indian uh, prospective adoptive parents who are being residing in india shall adopt the child only through your government recognized adoption agency so they can adopt they can adopt the child uh, only through your government recognized agency so only through the government recognized adoption agency that is called as your specialized adoption agency okay that is sca next point so this uh, prospective adoptive parents shall register in one of only one of their adoption agency so they should register your prospective adoptive parents they should register with only one recognized adoption agency they should be preferably near their home so they should be preferably near their residence okay fine next they can uh, register even through online also and after registering they should upload their relevant document that is being asked in the website so they should upload the document they should, that has been asked in the website called as caring okay next point what is the next step a social worker a following this registration a social worker will come to the home um, for the study home study okay so home study will be conducted by the so home study conducted by the social worker okay after uh, the parents who has been uploaded after the parent who have uploaded the data as their documents relevant documents in this caring website the social worker will follow this form study after that based on the choices that has been uh, given by your prospective adoptive parents they have been referred the profiles of the uh, legally free children okay so they will be referred they will have referred profiles 
of your legally free children they should select the child within 48 hours okay they should reserve the child from the given list within 48 hours next so after they have been reserved uh, they have received uh, me sorry reserved the child uh, with the given profile details so matching of the child with the parent so matching of the child with prospective adoptive parents is done by the adoption committee within 20 days so matching should be done within 20 days and then the child will be sent for pre-adoption foster care. So what is this meaning of pre-adoption foster care? Pre-adoption foster care meaning that is a temporary custody of a child is given to your prospective adoptive parents. So pre-adoption foster care, foster care meaning a temporary custody. So a temporary custody of a child is given to prospective adoptive parent till the adoption or uh, order is guaranteed by your competent government or competent court. Okay. Next. So after the child has been sent to your pre-adoption foster care, within the 10 days of that acceptance, the petition is filed in the court by your specialized adoption agency after this within 10 days of acceptance uh, petitions filed in the court by the specialized adoption agency okay with your prospective adoptive parent it is PAP as your co-petitioner so after their in camera hearing by the uh, i mean after their hearing by their court court order will be filed within 16 days uh, and the case is disposed then the birth certificate for the child will be applied and they will receive the birth certificate within eight days after the court order the child is sent to the uh, prospective adoptive parents and they will also have a post adoption follow so post adoption follow up is also will be done this post adoption follow up is done up to two years it's done up to two years after placement with the adoptive family fit so this is regarding the process of adoption in our country okay next how much does it cost so what is the cost of the adoption so cost for adoption will be around fifty thousand okay in country for adoption for about 6000 rupees will be given for home study and 2000 will be given per visit for your post uh, this one post adoption follow up visit there is four, four, four visit right so for that 2000 will be given per visit along with the uh, travel expenses also fine so this is regarding your main points regarding your adoption i think this will be fine if you write for your uh, i mean seven mark question for your short notes for adoption okay and thank you let's discuss about other topics you have asked in our telegram group like um, what is it you have asked one is regarding uh, child with ataxia approach to child with ataxia second one you asked regarding uh, refractory anemia third one is approach to a child with development delay so these are the questions you have posted in uh, our telegram group so let me try to finish these three questions and move on to our next questions thank you so much for your patience listening let's all learn pediatric together if you want any other topic also please post it in our telegram group and um, when is the mgr university exam for you for uh, post graduates please uh, mention it in the comment section or please give it in your telegram group also thank you